Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, that Tuesday, it means it's Modern League Day. So let's take a look at today's Modern League dump and see what kind of goodness is in here. Okay. How, let's let this load, and then we'll figure out how many decks we've got. Not done loading yet. There we go. It looks like 72 decks today. That's a good number. This may take a little bit. Let's see what we got. Game Store Lens has, looks like, Mardu Death Shadow. Pretty straightforward build. The One Hex Parasites. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's a pretty straightforward build. Three Fulminator Mage. You're going to start... I think we're going to see a lot of land destruction in the dump today. Uh, Titan decks being what they are. Um, that would not surprise me. Parrot with a black-white flicker deck. Flicker Wisp, Displacer, Charming Prince. These are kind of fun decks. It's sort of a an Eldrazi and Taxes style deck. Um... A little more on the focused on the flickering, um, but definitely uh, can shut down your opponent pretty well. Bitter Blossom in the side, a uh, little Zealous Persecution if you want to get aggro or if you're going against tokens yourself. Kunaros for the uh, Grave Hate. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Avocado Toast with. Ah, this is. Is this what colors are we? We're black green. Yeah, this is the uh, a new take, newer take on um, Valakut Titan decks with uh, with Karn, and that's kind of an interesting twist here. Let's mash together things that work and see what we get. Uh, Thirty lands. That's pretty straightforward. There, we've got. Uh, Ballista, Bridge, lots of good stuff in the sideboard for Karn to find. Um, liquid Metal Coating for your land, opposing land hate. Yeah, um, Titan decks. We're going to see a lot of those today. Death and Cat Mix. I like it. That's a nice, nice handle. I like that. Again, this is another... Um, so this is... Okay, this is green white stone blade. Flicker. Ooh. Kind of a taxes deck. Yeah. Def, kind of like a death and taxes. Hence the username. Got it. Okay. Um, yeah, I always. I love Aether of Vile decks. That's, that's kind of my thing. Von Ducky. What do we got here? We've got the Grinding Station combo deck. Yeah, Underworld Breach, man, that's a messed up card. Um, there's there's definitely uh, material out there on how to learn how this deck works, but it is very resilient and can go off from fewer resources than you expect. Uh, watch for this deck; you'll be seeing a lot. Be seeing it a lot. We've got uh, Grixis Shadow, one Royal Scions. This is looks to be a relatively standard build um, kind of expected some land hate in the graveyard but uh, yeah this is this is your close to your traditional GDS list wombo combo 2020 with the bants yes no nope. what what are we we're four color here forest island. No, we're blue green, blue green Uro, blue green snow blade, no blade. We're teamer. Oh, this okay. Teamer control, or teamer snow, or whatever we're calling it. Uh, yeah. Uro is your win con. Jason Wren to uh, control things. I just think Coatl for defense and card draw. And then control stuff. The red is there. It looks like only for red and six. Not even any. Ah, uh, there's. Okay, blood moons on the side. 
Yep, with Astrolabe. Blood, Astrolabe, Astrolabe and Blood Moon is an interesting dynamic if they're both on the same side or on opposite sides. Astrolabe almost negates Blood Moon on the opposing side, but you can use it to to good effect if you've if you're set up for it. And this deck looks to be that could be interesting. Again, land hate here because Titan. Uh, all right, we are some Mardu Stoneforge deck. I have not seen a Mardu one. So this is kind of like the old Mardu Pyromancer deck, getting a little away from the Pyromancers and leaning on Crocs and Stoneforge. I like this. This looks like fun to play. This looks like a lot of fun. Blood Moon in the side. So you've got your planes and your swamp for your colors. I like this. That this. That could be strong. That could be a strong. Croxa, we're we're still figuring out what to do with that card. Um. It's not as good as Oro in isolation, but I think it finishes games faster. We kind of talked about that yesterday in the Pioneer list. Um, I think Croxa might do better in Modern than it does in Pioneer. All right, we are on, looks like, traditional Green Tron. Uh, what's our threat package look like? Uh, this is using three Karn Creators. So you have your sideboard of stuff. Um, one World Breaker. Two Thrag Tusk Main. Okay, that's a little different. See it sometimes. But a relatively straightforward deck. I think Tron is pretty well positioned right now. Um, it's good at, with Karn Liberated, you know, turn three Karn, minus Exile that land. And, uh, yeah, that's always a strong thing. Uh, Jund. Yep, Goyf. A little, a little threat heavy. But only two thought, four Inquisition, two Thoughtseize. This goes back and forth. Is it four, two, three, three, two, four? It changes all the time. Do what feels right for you, what you're seeing in the metagame. Um, but yeah, this is, looks like a pretty good Jun list here. Um, looks like another Teamer, a little bit different take on Teamer. This one looks more aggressive with Bloodbraid Elf and Tarmogoyf. Uh, and Clothis. I, I like Clothis. I want to see more Clothis in this list. Or in this dump. Um, but then it's it's kind of the control side. This... This is a good mid-range. This is fun. Can you tell I like Modern? I find a lot of these decks fun. Uh, looks like we've got Tropical Merfolk. The blue-green version. Uh, with three Force of Negations and three chalice in the side that's becoming kind of the standard motif there uh yeah merfolk it's always around it'll never go away bob the dog what do you got for us uh we have a blue white stone blade looks to be nope just guy nope that's just a scalding tarn blue white stone blade uh one click hmm Yep, you're not seeing click that much anymore because Brazen Borrower's kind of taken over that slot. Uh, no Brazen Borrowers in the 75 here, so you must like the uh, the card cycling. Underdog 111 with a Titan, red green Titan. Scape is this? Yep, Scape Shift. Only two Scape Shifts. It's not. It's a win con, it's not the win con, because now Titan is just so good. We're in six to help you along. Again, 30 lands. Uh, yeah. Red green, red, green shift. Another Titan deck, right? Uh, Real Joy with... Marty Shadow? Jun Shadow. Traverse. One crash through. Three teamer battle rage. Is 
I guess, the card draw. I mean, do you go with a Crash Duo go the, over the fourth team of Battle Rage? Maybe. Diversify your threats, I guess. Um, yeah, it's a thing. What do we got in the side? Yixla Jailer, that's always around. A Croxa, a Hazaret, I like that. Veil of Summer, of course. Cool, cool. Love Heart 1 with... Ah, the finale. Okay. This is the uh, Teamer's Free Spells list. Crashing Footfalls, Ancestral Vision, Arcanist, Electro Dominance. Can be powerful. Can be powerful. It, it doesn't show up as often. You know, the ads foretold here. It doesn't show up as often, but uh, strong deck. Uh, if you like casting, casting free spells, look into this one. Uh, Neoform from Trino. Yep, that is what it is. Glass Cannon can definitely win you five matches. Can it win a tournament? Uh, we haven't seen it yet. Aoa, Aoa. Aoa, Aoa. Okay, is that what that's supposed to be? Is this Automata? Yeah. Uh, Emery were no Urzes. This is Lantern Control. Okay. Have not seen that in a while. It's still around. I hate it. Diamond Devon. Uh, Inferno. Okay, this is uh, Ponza. Yep. Good old Ponza. Four main deck Blood Moon. You got your Utopria Sprawl. Just get things out quickly. Yep. That's your Ponza deck. Uh, anything interesting. Glory Bringer is nice. Qu Questing Beast. Yep. You got your big threats. Just want to ramp into it and stop them from ramping into things. Aristocrats. Nice. I like this. Champion of the Parish. Little combo deck. Safi Eric's daughter. Have not seen this in a while. This is cool. Uh, again, there's 70 some decks in this dump. Who knows what's good these days, right? Um, and who knows when we're going to see another major tournament. Uh, tomorrow we'll be looking at prelims and challengers and kind of see what what's up with the metagame as a whole on a depth uh, perspective instead of breadth like we get here in the leagues. But, uh, yeah, I love seeing decks like this show up. Masumaro with another teamer deck. Um... Teamer, Snow, Control, kind of. A lot of Planeswalkers. Uh, again, this is kind of what mid-range is looking like in Modern these days. You got your Goyfs, got your Uros, Jace, Chandra, Renin-6, Ashiok for the Graveyard Hate. Uh, no real land hate that I see. Yeah, well, Blood Moon. I guess that'll work for you. Yep. Lollygagger 12 with a Knight of the Reliquary, Coco, Coral Helm combo deck. Yep. This is... Yeah, I love how Uro you can find with Coco. That's, finding a Titan with Coco just seems so wrong, but there you go. Um, yeah, this is kind of an aggro combo deck. Um, Knight of the Reliquary is always around. This helps your mana, so you can, you know, the Dryad helps the mana. You cast anything with, when it's out there. Um, and again, it's a Valakut. We've got a Valakut deck with no Titans. That's, but you've got Knight of the Reliquary. So, yeah. Kessig Wolf Run. Yep, that's, that's going to sneak up on people. Uh, Kiln Fiend. Uh, First in Burger. It's not Daniela. Uh, yep. This is your hyper-fast Kiln Fiend glass cannon kill you before you can stop me deck. Um, Lava Darts are really good with Kiln Fiend. Lava Darts are really good with Kiln Fiend. Uh, Zelma with a Kitchen Fink. Yep, Heliog combo. we got the Kitchen Finks. We've got the Ballista. We've got the Viscera Seer. We've got the Spike Feeder. Uh, the Anafenza. This is pretty much, you know, choose your own combo type of deck. Um, 
So, yep. Heliod, Heliod has made these that much stronger. Um, you don't see them as much online because they're extremely click intensive. But in paper, you will see this more in paper than on uh, online. Uh, ring specialist with a Jeskai Sahili. Yep, Jeskai Sahili. Uh, Pyromancers for the card draw. Um, but this is trying to force out the Sahili combo. Omen of the Sea. Yep. Straightforward deck there. Another Teamer, teamer Scape Shift. R good old Rug Shift. Yep. Good old Remand Opt Cryptic Scape Shift. Uh, story as old as time. Only 25 lands. But this is more of a control deck. So you get there. Magic Freak 2. Snapcaster. This is... Yep. Is this blue-white control or are we in another color? This is blue-white control. Are we? Yeah. Yep. Just lots of counters. Going to beat you down with Snapca Snapcaster Beats. Storm guy is me playing Storm. Gee, there's a surprise. Uh, this is the no fetch version. Yep, this is possibly the best budget deck in modern. Um, but you gotta like Storm. Gotta like com spell based combo. Next step with Urza. Urza. How are we winning? Yep. The, okay, so this is going for the Sword Thopter combo, or Thopter Sword. And that's how you're going to Thopter Sword people these days, is with a deck like this. Fluffy Wolf 2. This is Big Red. This is Red Prison. Bridge, Karn, getting coding and whatnot. Whatever uh, prison piece you need out of the side. Blood Moons, Ensnaring Bridges, Chalice is main. Slag Storm. Wow. Yep. Yep. Good old Red Prison. Uh, I'm going to kill you with Chandra, is how this goes. Maybe Hazoret. But that depends if you need a bridge out or not. Uh, this is Bant Spirits from Remph. And, let's see, three Unsettled Mariners. Sometimes you see those, sometimes you don't. One Geist, okay. An Eidolon of Rhetoric. Trying to, uh, it's the anti-storm card, among other things. This is also good against uh, the Niv-Mizzet Bring to Light decks, because Bring to Light, you cast the second spell that you go tutor up, so Eidolon stops it. Same effect that, um, same net effect as to fairy, even though the actual mechanic that it goes about it with is different. Um, but when you're trying to Coco out two things at once, the Eidolon is very handy. Internet Surfer 9. This is a re Koldotha Rebirth. Wow. This is trying to get you dead. Go wide, get you dead. A Tarkus Command, Reckless, bu Reckless Bushwhacker, this is hyperspeed stuff, NASCAR style red, uh, red artifact deck. Venerated Loxodon. So it's kind of Naya, but it's mostly red. This is a fast deck. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be on your toes against that one. You stumble, you're dead. God Shadow with. Uh, blue white stoneforge, blue black. No, we are Esper. Esper stoneforge. So basically, a control deck with a stoneforge spell queller finish. Yep. Stoneforge Mystic is a good control finisher. That is for sure. Uh, Demir control. Creeping Tar Pits. Only creatures are Snapcasters. I know people who love decks like this. I just can't play them. They don't fit my brain. Sultai for life. 
You're lying. You're not playing Sultai. You're playing Demir. I see no green. Uh, Andrew Brown from Watsi. What is he playing these days? He is playing Scape Shift. And again, Teamer Shift. Um, because Uro and because Dryad and because Scape Shift. You want your red. Do we have any red main or is this blue green? We have no red main. This is just blue green. This is not Teamer. So, yeah, there we are with that. Carlos Almeida. Uh, Clothis red green aggro, sort of. It's sort of a, a mid. It, this is big red green. Right, it's it's glory bringers, infernal titans in the top end. It's not quite Ponza. It's gone for more of a creature threat than a mana denial threat. Um, but it's the same framework that it's working under with the U Utopia sprawls to try to ramp into the bigger red green stuff. This is a great Clothis deck. Um, yeah, this this is aggro for people who don't want to play aggro who want to play more mid-range. Look in the deck like this. Zio Jimbo playing another Titan deck. This one is Amulet Titan. 29 lands, um, 3 scouts, 4 ancient stirrings. They lost once upon a time, so they're a little less um, consistent now, but this is still a very strong deck. I don't recall seeing Karn the Great Creator in these. I could be wrong. I don't follow Amulet Titan that closely. But, uh, yeah, Karn the Great Creator is a great card. Ancient Strings is a great card. And Primetime might be the best creature in the format right now. He's a Kura with a Kiki Cord. Hey, haven't seen this in a while. Resto, Kiki, Cord of Culling, Collected Company. Uh, yeah, these are fun decks. Uh, toolbox decks are always kind of cool. Um... Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, obviously, because we don't see it very often. But uh, with the sword, yeah, Stoneforge Kiki Cord. That's, uh, if you like this kind of pod-esque deck, um, yeah, definitely something looking up. Were Pigs with a Spirits deck. This one is blue whites. Kira, Geist, all the favorite spirits, for Path, for Aether Vial. Yep. Relatively streamlined sideboard. If spirits is your thing, it's between Blue, White, and Bant. And I think that's more a personal style choice than an actual power choice. Got another um, Eldrazi and Taxes deck here. Eldrazi Displacer, four Thought Knots, four Flicker Wisps. Yeah, this is the Flicker Eldrazi Titan style deck that we saw earlier. Slightly different um, focus to it, but definitely the same idea. Yo, 5 0 uh, with Niv Mizzet. And this is starting to become the go to style build. Uh, six creatures. Uro has been fantastic in the deck. Um, three and three on the Bring, bring to Light Niv Mizzet. Sometimes you see four Bring to Lights. Usually, if there is a fourth Niv, it's in the side, but they're not running a Wish in this package. So, three and three is a little light. Usually, you see seven of these. But uh, he's using Utopia Sprawl for ramp. Which might... So, it's a give and take. There's three camps on the Niv-Mizzet deck. Whether you go Utopia Sprawl for ramp, Birds of Paradise for ramp, or don't use any ramp at all. Um, in a heavy Titan meta, you see more land hate. So, Utopia Sprawl is sometimes worse. With Once a Time being gone now, that... Uh, the land hate, and we haven't seen as much as I expected in this dump. So, Utopia Sprawl might be the right choice here. 
Um, Birds of Paradise is worse in metas where there's lots of removal, um, but the balance there is Birds of Paradise can give you any color at any time. Utopia Sprawl, you have to choose your color on cat as it enters. So there's give and take there. Um, the two, it, it, I don't know if one's better. I think it's more a metagame choice. Utopia Sprawl might be the right choice now. Um, we'll see. But this deck will always be around. It's one of the better control decks in the format. Um, I played it for quite a while. Could not finish matches with it. It just didn't quite match my play style. I went up to an 18 creature build and have had good success and I'm able to finish everything. Um, but again, that's me. I'm more of a an aggressive player as opposed to a control player. So uh, the style deck doesn't mesh with me, but it's, it's fun to play. It's If I didn't have time limits, um, if I was just playing three matches against people for you know unlimited time, I would definitely be playing a deck like that. Akatva. What do we got here? We've got... Um, fairies. Cool. With a little ninja uh, ninja on the side. Fairy ninjas. Bitter Blossom. Cryptics. Drown in the Lock. That's a good choice here, I think. A couple Creeping Tar Pits. Um, yeah, this is a uh, finesse control deck. Not quite a fish deck, tempo, tempo deck kind of thing. Um, I can't play this style. But those that love it are really good at it. And uh, it's amazing to watch this deck in the hands of, of a master. Boggles. Bogles. Bogles. That's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, yeah. I've played it. People hate it. Um, it's not a meme deck. It is a threat, but in some metas, if, if Jund is a thing and Jund is a thing right now, Jund eats this deck for breakfast. Um, just with the removal and the discard, the, the sacrifice effects in the discard. Um, you can sneak through if you think you're going to dodge Jund, but if you've got Jund in your meta, um, I don't recommend Poggles. Humans. Humans has faded off and it's sad. Um, this is, again, one of Another one of my favorite decks. I've played human style um, decks for quite a while. Um, I was playing four color humans with Aether Vial and Coco before Ixalan hit, which gave us Kitesail Freebooter uh, and uh, Unclaimed Territory. Um, I The last modern GP I played actually was GP Vegas right before Ixalan. And I, I registered Four Color Humans in that. And uh, love, love the, um, the combination of disruption and aggression you get with the deck. Um, this should always be in the top 12 decks, I think, in the metagame. Uh, this is another Kiki deck. What do we got going on this one? Yep, another Kiki chord. Okay. This one with Ephemerate. Interesting. What's your ephemerate targets? Wall of Blossoms, okay. Uh, Night of Autumn is a good one. Coatl's a good one. Ewit's a good one. Yeah, fair number of, of hits there for ephemerate. Uh, and of course you're protecting from removal when you do it too. I always forget the rebound in ephemerate. That card is nuts for one white. Um... The Tunneling Cat brings us a Tron deck. Uh, this is Eldrazi Tron, and it is Sorcerer Spyglass Main. That's interesting. And Emrakul the Promised in Main. That's a little interesting. All is Dust. This is a little bit different from the builds I've been seeing, and probably that's because Eldrazi Tron had adopted um, Once Upon a Time. And now that it's gone, people are experimenting a little bit again. Um... Again, seeing Sky Sovereign, we saw that quite a bit uh, yesterday in the Pioneer lists. Um, it's the uh, the Vehicle Titan. Yeah, that's Eldrazi Tron. You're you. This is this is again another good mid range deck with a fair. It's a little bit of interaction, not a whole lot, 
but it's it's a big aggressive deck. Uh, the Hydra with Goblins. I love Goblins. I can never make Goblins work. Dragon's Herald. I don't know that card. Sack a black creature, a red creature, and a green creature. Search your library for uh, Hellkite Overlord. Trixie, Trixie. An 8-8 eight, eight flying flample hasty. I'm going to get you dead thing. That's interesting with Grumgully. This is a, a more combo-y um, goblin build than the uh, board control version that it has been and that Jim Davis likes playing. Um, but the Dragon's Herald Hellkite Overlord just looks hilarious to me. Um, God, this makes me want to play goblins. I wish the stores were playing so that we could go play goblins. Uh, what do we got here? We've got... This is an interesting deck for Ancient Stirrings. Thought not. Smasher. Okay, so this is Red Green Eldrazi. Got it. Okay. Have not seen this in a while. I think this won a Grand Prix, if I, if I recall. Um, bigger than Mono Red Aggro decks. Um, a little bit of disruption. A little bit of, of trickiness. Um, yeah, you're bigger than the other aggro decks, but you're smaller than the mid-range decks. So this kind of deck has to find its niche, and Milliken seems to have um, navigated his way through this league. Um, I imagine it would be hard to 5-0 with this deck. I expect 4-1s or 3-2s are a lot more common, because um, you got to be just positioned properly for this to work out for you. Clabian with a uh, Wurza deck... Uh, yeah, this is just kind of a Wurza deck. It's Thopter Sword, Time Sieve. Yep, this is mostly what replaced Lantern Control, or decks like this. <clears throat> Jay Necked with Jund. Two Croxes, your Thought Seizes, your Inquisitions, Traverses. Bobbles. Yep, this is good old Jund. It's a different, uh, obviously a different mix of threats and answers that we saw in the earlier list. But, uh, yeah, that's a good one. An old classic. Uh, Shorak123, what did you bring us? This looks like another teamer. Is this a teamer control deck? This is a teamer control deck. Teamer Snow. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Bolts. Ne oh, Nexus. Okay. So this is how it's going to try to win. Um, yeah. It's a deck. I, I actively dislike Nexus of Fate, so I won't play this deck. But if that's your jam, then go for it. F. Paulus With Bant Snowblade. Bant Snowblade. This is pretty much what you're going to get out of that deck. I don't think there's too many different builds of it. Um, there might be slight differences in the mix of the instants and sorceries, um, but this is pretty much what you're going to see here. You might go more to fairies. Depends. Uh, Mario S3388 with another Jun deck. This one's got a few fewer creatures. Oh no, this one is this is Grix's Shadow. Sorry, or is this John Shadow? No, this is. We're at we're at red. We're at blue. We're at black. We're at green. Four color shadow. One color Avon. Let's make your death shadow fly. That's always a fun thing. Oh, and draw draw a card while you're doing it. Yeah, four color shadow. Um, takes practice, but these are the shadow decks are good decks. Uh, I think Grixis is still the best version, but we've seen Jund, Grixis, Mardu, and now four color. So there, there's really four different approaches to how you take this archetype, and all of them are viable. 
Uh, dredge. I knew we were going to see dredge here at some point. Two oxes. That's become pretty standard. Three merchant of the veil. The haggle. It's not faithful saluting, but it's almost good enough. Um, yeah, that's that's. This will show up when people slack off in their graveyard hate, um, and then it will win a tournament, and then it won't be playable again for a month and a half, and then people will slack off in the graveyard hate, and then it'll come back. Um, here's another Jun deck. This one is the Bloodbraid Dark Confidant version. Maelstrom Pulse Main. Lots of removal. Everything's designed to be a two for one. There you go. There's Jund. Infect. Uh, as I was saying earlier, if you skimp on your removal, Infect will show up and then removal comes back and then infect goes away um it it's almost competing sine waves you know uh reversed sine waves with dredge i think it seems um in fact also very good against titan decks so keep that in mind as titan is big in fact should do well um but yeah this is this is in fact I don't see anything really unusual with this one. Um, Simo 991 with... What do we got? Mardu. No, we're Junk. This is Junk, not Jund. Uh, so, Junk Stoneblade. Okay, sure. Let's put good cards in decks and play good decks. And make good decks out of them. And that's what we've got here. Four Fulminator Mage. That's a statement in the sideboard there. That is a statement right there. Is there a Kai's Guile? Yep, two Kai's Guile. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just if you want a little twist to your Liliana Dark Confidant Tarmogoyf deck, here's a little twist. Salty Orange Juice with Colorless Eldrazi. This is the uh, Serum Powder build. I'm surprised this hasn't been bigger with the London Mulligan, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, there's... there's This is a round. It's another way to do the Eldrazi thing. Uh, Blue-White Control... Blue-White Stoneblade. Yeah. Blue-White Stoneblade. It's a control deck with a Stoneforge finish. Predict with Urza and no were. So we are on the. This is just a. I don't see any combos in this. So this is just trying to. It's almost like an artifact control deck, really. Uro's your finisher here. Um, yeah, this is just value town. Mystic Sanctuary, cryptic, cryptic, that's probably how it's trying to lock the game, and then it will kill you with Urza. Or, sorry, or Uro. Sorry. But yeah, Uro's the, uh, the finisher. Shuto Sotukan. I apologize for butchering that. Humans, Aether Vial. This is a Coco Humans build. This is a little different. Is it even starting to come back? Is this five color? White, black, red, blue, green. Yep, we're five color. Mirror image. Really going heavy on the copy effects in this one. And a rogue refire. This is an interesting little build. It's definitely different. Huh. I might... If I get to play humans again sometime soon, I might try this build. I like this, uh, I like the clone effect. This only copies things you control. This can copy anything. So keep that in mind here with the mirror image. It's definitely worse. But if you're hitting it off Coco and you've already got something out, you know, it's not that big a deal. Uh, Panje with Vengevine. Self mill. It's. Not it's dredgeless dredge, yeah. Vengevine, 
um, not hollow one. So, uh, yeah, it's just trying to uh, mill yourself and then get creatures for free. For glimpse, mostly targeting yourself. Uh, yeah. If you like free creatures, here's your deck. Tundaslav with elves. Anything unusual in this elves build? Not that I see. Once upon a time's gone, so we're back to lead the stampede. Yep. Straightforward there. Ale Axe 95 with Ad Nauseam. This is Ad Nauseam. I don't know the deck. I'm assuming this is a pretty standard build. It looks standard. They're with four Thassa's Oracle now, which is a mistake. But, I mean, the card was a mistake, not putting it in the deck. If they're going to give us the card, use it, because it's broken. Um, yep, that that is Ad Nauseam. If you're into that kind of combo, then there you go. There's a good build for you. Uh, burn. This is a very straightforward burn list with four skewers. Um, online, I can see the four skewers. If I was playing in paper, I would have the skull cracks main because I would expect more Heliod combo. Um, but since, in this case, you're online and Heliod's less represented online, I think skewer over skull crack might be right. But it's burn. There are lots of red cards that deal damage and mix to your taste. Uh, Watsi. Clever. Clever. All right, I get it. Nice pun. Uh, what do we got going here? Is this Blue Moon? This looks like Blue Moon. Only one. Uh, brazen Bar, Brazen Cut. This, yeah, this is Blue Moon. I would expect a few more Blood Moons, but we're going more on the tempo plan here. Uh, to, again, Mystic Sanctuary, Cryptic Commander, Archmage Command, that's, that's a thing. Um, yep. Thrall 90 with Breach. Uh, yep. Is it? Through the Breach. Yes, it is. And this is just trying to control the game until you can cheat out Nimrakul and win it from there. Straightforward approach. This deck's been around for a while. Um, it occasionally gets new toys. I mean, we're using Brazen Borrowers now. Um, I think it's used Vendillion Clicks in the past um, just for that uh, the flash threat kind of thing. Zack with Ack is playing is this what do we got going in this? This is an unearthed deck. That's interesting. This is kind of a reanimator, sort of. It's a little bit of a weird take on black red. So maybe, yeah, yeah, this is just kind of a black red control, black red mid range. Um, the unearth bit is interesting. Ransack the lab and unearth. Um, that looked. I, if you like, if you want a Croxa deck or if you want an Oxybogona deck, take a look at this one. Um, that's an interesting build. I like that. Trellon. What's Trellon got for us? Trellon has a uh, mono blue Tron. Mind Slaver, Sundering Titan, Control Stuff, and Tron Lands. Um, take them, mix things as you wish. And yeah, that is mono blue Tron. Sundering Titan is really good right now with um, the Dryad in the Titan decks because the Dryad turns all their lands into all different land types, so you can get a Sundering Titan out and destroy their entire mana base in one fell swoop. Uh, Sword Hunter is playing F Sahili Combo, and I'm not going to go back. This one is probably snow-based, and that's probably why we're seeing both of these in the list, in the dump. Um, on Thin Ice for removal. Um, but yeah, this is Rug Sahili. Kind of a control combo thing. Yamayama with 
Sultai Snow. Yeah, this is a Sultai control deck. Lots of instants. Uro to finish things off. And then your typical controly stuff. Astrolabe to fix your mana. Uh, any other snow synergies? A Coatle. Yeah. Um, this is Modern's uh, Baleful Strix, definitely. Almost done here. Eddie Doo. Eddie Doo is playing. Junk. Nope, he's playing black white. This is a black white Stoneforge deck. So we've seen a fair bit of Stoneforge Mystic. We've seen a fair bit of Liliana the Veil. We've seen a fair bit of Primetime. Um, and we've seen a fair bit of Uro. I think that's kind of your format right now, is one of those decks. And that's it. Thanks for uh, hanging with me and walking through the uh, the deck dump today. Um, if you do like what I'm doing here, please like, subscribe, uh, hit the uh, hit all the buttons. Helps me out. Uh, please feedback. What would you like to see on Wednesdays? There's no uh, modern or uh, pioneer leagues posted. Wednesday's the one day off. So on those days, I'm going to look at the prior weeks preliminary and challenge results for the formats and just kind of look at the metagame that we're seeing um, from the decks that do well in those events. But uh, yeah, that's about it for today, and I'll be back tomorrow with that metagame overview. Thanks a bunch, everybody.